Hey guys, what's up? Zoo here, coming at you live from the famous fire pot room. Yeah, that's awesome. Check that out. Look at that, Cursed Traveler. Anyway, on to the point of the video. Um, I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to set up Gina, or Gina, as some people like to say for laughs. Um... What it is, is a third-party program that reads your EverQuest log file and can give you uh, all kinds of information like voice emotes telling you to move away from a uh, mob boss because it's going to pivot in AE or something like that. And it's used a lot in raids now. And um, I've seen a number of people have trouble getting it set up or... They don't really understand it. So we're going to assume at this point you've downloaded it and installed it already. I'm going to, I'll include the download in the description below. So, okay, you download and install Gina. So what are you going to do next? Here's what you're going to do. All right, this is the Gina window. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add your character. So you're going to click the add button. And you need to choose a log file for your character. Now, there's already one that exists in your EverQuest folder, so you just have to browse to it and choose it. If you click the three little dots there, it'll open a little window explorer. Now, mine's already in my logs folder, which is in the EverQuest folder. So in your EverQuest directory, you're gonna find a logs folder, and in there, you're gonna find one for your character. You can set up multiple characters, but you're going to want to pick the one for the character you're setting up. So you go ahead and you choose that. And then for profile name and character name, I just use the same for both. Character name, you know. Um, phonetic name, this is good because, like, my name is spelled XXIOU, but we pronounce it Zoo, Z O O. So I could type Z O O in here, which will come in handy when Gina tells me things it'll say things like uh, zoo move away from boss zoo invisibility dropping or you know you get the idea so you could type it out phonetically so that's really good so now you got your character set up um, the next thing you want to do is make sure you have sharing set up so if you go to sharing and click on this play button here. Actually, that's wrong. That's not where you want to go. You want to go to sharing under settings. Sorry about that. So click that, go to settings, um, go to sharing, and you want enable Gma link selected. I don't know why it's not Gma link, but whatever. So enable that. Enable incoming game text trigger sharing. And now this part, accept share invitations from, you want that set to anybody. That's what I would suggest. That's what I have it set as. And then automatically merge invitations from, I would set that to nobody. You, can, you also have the ability to uh, have a trusted, like, you know, trusted characters to accept, uh, invitations from but I feel like anybody works just fine so leave it at anybody and we'll get to the sharing part after now the way Gina works is off your log files your EverQuest log files because remember when we set up the thing we set when we set up your character we set up the log file so what you need to do in EverQuest is turn your log on when you're going to use Gina now you don't want your log running all the time because then it's, it's just going to become one massive file. So what I did is make a hotkey to turn my log on, which is just uh, slash log log space on. So I click that right here, click, and my, it turns my log on. So I also made one for log off, which I so I can tur turn it off easy after raids. 
So uh, the command for that is just slash log off. I'll put this in the description. But um, okay, so you're in a raid. You're not sure what you're gonna do. It's a big mess, million people. Uh, you never did the event before. All right, and raid leader saying make sure you're using Gina, and you're like, oh Christ. All right, but you got it set up now, so you're good. So you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your EverQuest log on. That's important. Then on this screen with the character you set up, you're gonna hit the green button. I think it's like a play button. And you wanna make sure that you have this red outline around here. All right, so now Gina's running and Gina is reading your log file. So if someone does a Gina share, you're gonna get a pop-up on the Gina screen that's gonna say so-and-so wants to share this Gina package file with you. So you accept it and then you merge it with your other files. And as you can see over here, I have like every raid in the game. Um, so yeah, and these are, are all things I got from shares. Like I have them all here broken down by expansion, all the emotes that you would need on that raid. Um, so when that emote happens, you don't have to be paying attention to your chat window or something, because like some of the emotes will be like, uh, you know, lightning forms around so-and-so's feet. And that means that you need to run to a, run away from the raid. So what Gina will do will say, Zoo, run away from the raid. Simple. Um, so that's why it's very important that everyone use it. Uh, what else? So like if you wanted to do a Gina share... How do you do that? Why won't it let me do it? Oh yeah, you gotta select some. You would select something you wanna share and you click this and you do quick share. Now, I don't know if you could see this, but th there's a Gina package token here. It's like a long string of numbers. Sometimes in raids you'll see these in your chat window. And if you have Gina running, Gina will read that and it will import all those triggers for you. But if you wanted to share, you would click copy to clipboard, and then you would paste it in your EverQuest chat window. Now, to paste an EverQuest, it's not um, Control V or Command V like you know your standard Windows or Mac. It's a, you actually have to set it to a key, which you can do under Options. We go to options and uh, keys and choose UI. You'll see paste from clipboard, mine's set to F2. You could set it to whatever you want and that will paste uh, something you copy from your computer into the EverQuest window. So if you want to do a Gina share. But mostly this is for people who will be getting the share and not sharing themselves. So that's about it. You just gotta set up your character, make sure the log is turned on, make sure this green button is clicked and you got the red going around there and it's running during your raid and you'll be good. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll also put the download stuff and I don't know, whatever.